Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of After Image. Last time we left off, we were hanging out here in Resting Town, and I think we're going to make our way... Where do we want to make our way? We have a few different areas we can go to, from what I recall. Um... We don't have the key to that place. Field of Geo, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much for me to do over there. That area we've pretty much finished off. Emerald Falls, I think we're mostly done with. That is a locked door, that is locked. Okay, I never even found the name for this place. Wild. Um, Town of the Exiled we're pretty much done with. Ashen Canyon, we can still go do some things in. Ashen Canyon still feels a little high level for me, though. The columns we made our way through. The Whispering Forest, we're basically done with that. That's a new place I can go. And then there's also this over here, this up here. So there's a few different places for me to go at this point. Um, why don't we go continue in the Ashen Canyon? Since we have been to that area... It's this Ashen Canyon after the Whispering Forest, so I'm wondering if, yeah, the Ashen Canyon, despite it me finding it earlier than the Whispering Forest, I was supposed to go there later. Um, all right, let's explore. It seems, yeah, I can totally get up here now, because I have my new handy dandy ability, Dim Bomb. Okay. These things here still do a ton of damage. God, they hurt. That's the thing that worries me about this place. Everything here hurts. Like, it feels like I'm just not the correct area for this zone. That's most of my heals right there. Yeah, 593 XP. I mean, I've explored a good amount of it already though, so I might as well just continue. None of that, please. No, you do not. There you go. Yeah, we get a lot of XP in this place. There we go. God, they make such weird noises. Shard of the Vine Flower. Hey, that's good. More, uh, more MP is nice. Okay, it looks like we can go somewhere down there, too, though. So let's go work our way over there. Well, now that I have wall jump, we can do many, many more things. Good, good. Oh, hi. Okay, let's just get back over here, why don't we? Oh, the things here. They are pain. Alright. So, if we go down from here, this takes us to what? More of these jackasses, first off. Alright. Good. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that reminds me, um, there's something I want to check in just a moment that someone mentioned. Uh... There we go, you're dead. Whew. Okay, um, so if I check, apparently we got a quest for that um, weird staff I have. So if I check here, there should be, also someone mentioned there was a prompt on the teacups that I found here. Um, I, just, I just missed it, it came up for like just a little bit of time, but there was a prompt, so there is something going on with that. Um, New this town, we've been an adventurer, met Carsa again, da 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 da. Just Shenlong, found a fairy far away. She liked the tower. Ethan. Treasure hunt. Gift. Somehow the staff grew dark and stopped answering my calls as if its power has been exhausted. A spirit named Pat at the hidden camp near the canals since an aura of Oss told him Oss has been defeated in order to thank us. Pat gave us an old staff. Use this magic staff and power's power being quite powerful. If you warned me that the staff may not be as innocent as it seemed, that I better not use it. Somehow the staff grew dark and stopped answering my calls as if its power had been exhausted. Okay, that doesn't really give me much to go on, but it is it is a quest, so I know this is something that we're probably going to need to do some more stuff with later at some point. 
Okay, larva. We're dealing with some larva, we are. Wow, okay, I'm glad they didn't put enemies there. I thought they were gonna be mean and put enemies there while the background is being completely kept from me. Field of Pyro, that is not somewhere I wanna go, I don't think. That, I don't think that's somewhere I wanna go. I think that's supposed to be the area after this area. And this area is already kicking my ass, so... None of that, I don't think. And that's why this is obscured here, to try and hide the fact that you can go up there. What in the hell? God, I can't even see what's hitting me. I mean, I know it was whatever shit you threw at me, you little bastard, but... God, I couldn't see. It bounced into me, I believe. There we go. Okay, that's an angry turtle. Okay. You don't seem very good at dealing with me. Not doing this, at least. Oh my god. Give me this. Divine Seed, thank you. Still don't even have enough of those things to properly utilize that yet, but good, I suppose. Oh my god, I had to use a lot of my potions there. Yeah, I think we should just go ahead and get the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't- I don't think this is where the game wants me going right now. Maybe I'll try those places to the right more. Cause this area seems like it's kinda kicking my ass. Like, it seems doable, but it doesn't seem- It seems like, you know, walking into Kaelid early in Elden Ring. That's what I- that's what I get from this. Okay, so if we don't want to go here, I meant to grab more potions, but I totally didn't, did I? I sure didn't. Well, luckily we're here, so I can just go back to Resting Town and we can buy some more potions. I'm pretty sure one of the characters sells me more potions. At least we got another Divine Seed for when I get another After Image. I want more useful After Images. Okay, so you do sell resting potions. Thank you. We got five of them now. That's good with me. So, where are we going then? Field of Geo. Up here we got things. Stuff over here. There's a lot of like backtracking I could do to find some stuff, but I want to like actually make some some real progress here. Ashen Canyon, yeah, I just, I, I don't think I want to mess with that right now. This area I can probably do something with. So if I don't want to mess with Ashen Canyon, the columns takes me to Whispering Forest. We've pretty much cleared out Whispering Forest, as far as I can tell. So then we need to go to this place. Which I can teleport for free, or this place. We can go to either one of those. So let's- let's go to that lower one, why don't we? Because that other one was like a weird castle and... I don't know, that's... I wouldn't say that that screams like endgame-y to me, but it seems like an important location, you know? Whispering Forest. It seems like a very, very important location, you know? So, we'll- we'll come back to that, but let's see what's down here. Seems like a good call to me. And this area seems totally appropriately leveled for me. Whereas that other place, not so much. Ow. Like, the enemies still hurt me, and they still take a, you know, good amount of hits, but they don't like to hit me like the fire area does. So... We'll see if this leads anywhere worthwhile. Come here, you. There you go. Die for me. Poison touch. Ooh, it's a it's a whip. Probably not one I'm gonna like, but there are multiple successful hits on the enemy inflicts the poison status effect. Yeah, well, that wasn't very useful when um, I had another whip that did that exact same thing. So can't say I'm particularly interested in that. I know, wild. Okay, ice area, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm down. Icy area. 
Oh my god, are we in Ash Lake? God, I, re I reference the Souls games a lot. <laughs> I do. What can I say? I've uh, played a lot of them, watched many, many a playthrough about them. What the? Oh, you cheeky bastard! Oh, look at you! I was like, what was that noise? Would be what it was. You cheeky bastard. The cheek on this one! Okay, and then we got a... we got a barrier right here. Okay, I don't know what this area is called yet, but... Uh-huh. Okay, well there's a confluence down here. Still don't know what it's called yet, but at least we got a little confluence there. This might give us it? I see the stream freezes into solid form in low temperature. Unlike lava though, this form called ice suppress the vitality of energy. According to the researches so far, ice can only regain its original density by requiring extra energy. It seems that the streams of this form does not possess much value. Uh-huh, so this is the frozen stream, basically. The life stream is frozen. Wild. Okay. I still cannot drop into that because we are water-soluble. Okay, that's a new area, I believe. Yeah, that's that's a new area. So we'll add another marker. My god. So many zones. I really need to get this ability that lets me crash through those things that I keep seeing. That would be ideal. This area is going down very far. Ooh. Oh, I thought I went... Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's because I jumped the wall. I was like, I kind of went up, so I was like, well, is there actually a place to go in there? But... Uh-oh. You're the scary bastards, aren't you? Oh, you totally are. You're totally the scary bastards from up top, aren't you? That's totally you. Yeah, I mean, you don't one-hit me anymore, but you still hurt me quite a bit. So maybe we are not supposed to be here. I don't think we're supposed to be here. Yeah, 593 XP. Yeah, I don't think this is an area I'm going to be sticking in for very long. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'll go until I maybe find something of interest. But I do not have high hopes for this area currently. Oh, great. Well, your music sounds metal. Ow. Yeah, that's not a boss fight I should be doing right now. <laughs> I probably could have done it if um, I had a little bit more healing. But, uh, okay. I'm gonna put a marker for... It's a boss down there. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I do have the healing now. Like, I really do think I could do it with the right healing. Like, going in there actually full HP. I do think I could do it, and you know, I mean, why not? Uh-huh. Especially if I play it actually safe. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is about what more would I expect from, like, a Metroidvania boss fight, quite honestly. A lot of the other ones have been fairly easy in comparison. Ow. Yeah, this is way more what I expect. Ow, damn. Yeah, like, you actually gotta learn the attacks and dodge and stuff like that. I'm not gonna waste all of my healing items on it, though. We'll, we'll avoid it for now. You seem a little bit stronger than me. So, now the question just becomes, where do we go in instead? Up to this place, maybe? Um, I did leave a lot of XP down there, but we'll come back for it. It's, once again, not the biggest deal. So, let's see what level this area is. 
Maybe this is more- oh, okay, that's way more my speed. What? Oh, that's way more my speed. Okay. Yeah, that barely hurt at all. Okay, this is where we're wanted next. Okay. Good to know. Good, good, good. Yeah, and that's the area we could- so we're gonna connect back up there as well. We just clearly need, you know, like... Um, the ability to swim before we can explore all of this. Um, so let's take this away. And let's put this here. Okay, so this area actually connected where I wanted to go next. Yeah, this feels- this feels correct. This absolutely feels correct. Cool, cool, cool. I'm happy we actually found something good here. Alright, I mean, yeah, we can kind of continue to go down here. Cool. Uh, I was trying to hit you, but... There we are. Good, good. And that would mean we were gonna go up there. What are you doing? I was about to say, are you an enemy? You are an enemy. You poor, poor thing. Okay, and yeah, now we've reached this area, which actually lines up with what I ex would expect with this music a little bit more. Okay, cool. God, this reminds me of that one area in Soldiers, the Pyramid. Oh, God. Oh, gods. Please, never again. I like your weapon. It's like a chakram. Cool. Neato. Yeah, all I can think of is the soldier's pyramid. Oh, all, the, all the nightmares. All the inhumanity. We're good. We're good. Don't mind hitting you with that a little bit. That magic does not do a lot of damage these days, though. I will say that. It's quite weak. Uh-huh. There we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, this place is windy and leads to a lot of different places. But that's to be expected from, like, an indoor area in a Metroidvania, I suppose. Ooh, okay. There we are. Die. Okay. Oh, heal up. Yeah, the enemies hurt, but they're not unbearable. It's not ridiculously so. It feels more in line with what a lot of the other areas that were my level expected of me, so... Because I could totally beat that boss in the ice area. Like, that is absolutely doable. But it doesn't feel like I should. Mysterious bomb... Hey, dork, you went the wrong way. What's over here? Hello? Is there, like, shortcuts or anything? Hmm. Yeah. yeah, these tunnels feel like... ant tunnels, basically. Ow. That's not what I expected. I'm out of heals, so we do need to be a little bit careful. I imagine most of the things here are probably very resistant to Geo magic. Luckily, I'm using Chaos magic. Health potion? No, just mana potions. Bye bye, little friend. Here we are. Yeah, we're slowly connecting back over here. Oh my god, this area is huge, though. Bat orb. Area is massive. Alright, let's heal. Ow. Get out of here. Ancient fangs. New daggers? 
Ooh, they are. Max HP minus 50. And I lose the buff critic. When they attacking with this weapon, restore some HP after a successful hit. Weapon built with ancient spells and hard bones. Crudely made, but practical. After hitting an enemy, the wielder can easily absorb their life. In the wild days before beings knew water and dews, the blood of their enemies was their only means of survival. After the raising, the scarcity of resources forced some to restore an ancestral life. Well, I want to upgrade that because it seems like my next thing. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit of healing. Uh... Yeah, I realized as soon as I walked in here. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's very minuscule healing, but it's healing nonetheless. Like, incredibly minuscule, but it's it's there. It does a little something something it does. The crits obviously do a fair amount. You're not even something I've seen yet. You're like a weird corrupted vulture. Uh-huh, ow. There we go. We just hit level 46. None of that, please. Cool. Talent Essence, yay. That I will take. Cool. Especially since I just hit level 46, so I have uh, some more talent points to spend. Yeah, I have four points I can put in some places. Um, the question is where? 55 is what's needed down here. Two to unlock, that's just baby amounts of resistance. Don't really care about that. Two to unlock, two to unlock. Let's get this and this. Okay, those are done. Once again, I wish there was an easier way to tell like when it's done just by looking at it. Like it's glowing or something. Or it's a different color. To let you know, hey, this node is completely finished off. You do not need to worry about it anymore. All right, so what's over here then? Because this area I did not go to. Hi. Welcome to my personal space. Yeah, that healing is incredibly minuscule, but it's it's something. There we go. Exoteric or er, er, exoteric exotic geta. Yay! These seem like they'd be incredibly not useful for combat, but. Get a worn by foreigners. The footsteps are just like a beat when you wear them uh, to a battlefield. Damage received minus 5%. Main weapon attack plus 3. Don't know if I'm putting those on. It's novel, but uh, I do not know about that. Uh huh. Can you stop, please? No? Ow. Let me just heal up off you as much as possible. Thank you. Gonna have to drop another one of these health potions here. Okay, we are slowly but surely making our way over here. God, yeah, these tunnels. It's just a bunch of tunnels. Okay. Bye-bye. Good. All right, I'm just happy we found the area we are supposed to be in, I think. Oh, hey! <laughs> there's there's this again. I still have, like, not even gotten on that thing because I just turned away because I was like, that looks confusing. <laughs> and I've just been teleporting to areas, basically. Wild. Okay, well... We'll, we'll get on that thing one day, I, we will. But not right now. I don't want to be overwhelmed by the world map at the moment. Might just be a better way to get to some of the areas, you know, I'm currently traversing, though. Maybe. Hmm. I imagine that's the point of leaving that little... The little... Manta Ray thing that I've been using to mark, like, oh, this, you need to be able to swim here. 
it's probably useful to leave that for for these areas so you know hey you can get to the ocean from here let's put one of those though the anchor tells me hey this is an area you can go into the ocean you know is it the best way to do it absolutely not it would probably be better to reverse these anchor means water this means manta ray but it, 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 we'll, we'll do that and it'll it'll work probably <laughs> maybe so I haven't gotten a new after image have I yeah because I have more space now but I, I, I don't have enough after images to fill it in unfortunately all right let's explore more of the ant tunnels oh now we're actually on the surface though okay uh-huh There we go. Oh, hi. Who are you? Hello? Many adventurers in a deserted place such as this? A rarity. Whoa, you look cool and you have massive hair and you have a giant meat thing. Uh, if Free sees a weird traveler with a strangely big spatula. How rude, little one. I'm Emily, a traveling conjurer, and I'm on a quest seeking only the most delicious meal. I was told that a rare kind of ingredient called ancient spiritual meat can be found around here. If you could bring it to me, I can make you my signature dish, the heroic grill. Grill? Of course! If he wants the grill! I would be willing to also make other dishes for you, so long as you have the ingredients. Okay, so... First of all, let's kill you, because you're annoying me greatly. Vultures vultures will not attack. Vultures are purely defensive. They only want to eat the things everyone else left behind. And if anything tries to attack them, they'll just vomit on them. Which I guess that thing's trying to do to me. But, and it's probably corrupted or whatever. That's probably why it's aggressive. Have you found the ancient spiritual meat? Or do you wish to try my other dishes? I want to try... What else do you have? Fried sandworm? That I can make. No, I can't. Never mind. Tentacle skewer? That I can. And I can't make that. Okay, well, um... Isn't there a cooking thing I can put? Yeah, a cooking pot. Right there. Let's put that on you. So I know, hey, I can cook over here. There's a cook character. Good, good. Don't know why you're hanging out in this area in particular, but, uh... You know, I can't really judge. Okay, so let's go back over here, and I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off. Whew. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. <laughs>